Hi guys, this is Lauren from my Something Beautiful Life. And as I promised in my July planner update video, I wanted to do a recap of the four weekly planners that I tried out during the month of July. For those that haven't seen it, basically I have these four weekly planners and I didn't know which one I wanted to use going forward in the year. And so I decided to take a week and try each one just to see what I liked about them, what I didn't like, and which one I wanted to use, even though we all know I would probably change at some point. But I wanted to share this little recap with you and let you know how it went. So I'm gonna move these all aside. The first one that I used was the Moxie Life. This is one I've been going back and forth between throughout the beginning of this year, along with the Erin Condren Horizontal Life Planner. And so this one's not new to me. I've just had moments where I've been struggling to know how to use it, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So I gave it another try. And here is my week that I planned. So this was July 4th through July 10th. So one thing that I did differently that I had been doing in the past was, so this is one of my past weeks when I had been using this one. So here, what I did was I tried to not force myself into any specific pattern. So like if we go back to this one, you can see it's very structured. I set all of it up ahead of time just with how I wanted the format to be and it was just hard to use sometimes. And so with this one, I kind of just winged it and just did whatever I felt like at the moment. And I actually liked it a lot more. At the end of this week, I actually did a little video clip of how I used it. Sadly, I did not do it for all of the planners. I had intended to, but life just got crazy and I went on vacation and so it just never happened for the other ones. So I'm just gonna summarize them when I get to them. But because I do have that clip for this one, I'm just gonna show you that and then we will move on to the next planner. Hey guys, so I just wanted to give you a little update. This is the current state of my weekly spread in my Moxie Life Planner for this week. I did do my weekly actions too, which I just love the goal setting part of this planner. So this actually worked better than it has been in the past. I think I like this setup better than what I was doing before. And so I'm kind of excited that it, it seems more functional. And I found that if I just leave it sitting open on my desk, I'm more likely to refer back to it. Cause if you know, I've mentioned before, one of the problems that I've had with this is this coil and the hardcover, they're just, they just feel so bulky to me. And so it's hard for me to want to use them like that. I mean, it's gorgeous. I love this cover. I think it's so pretty, but just, the weight of it and the size of this planner is just so bulky. That's been one of my main concerns with this planner. The other problem I've been having with it is just that it's a vertical, which I used to totally be a vertical planner. And so I thought this would be no problem at all, but I've been using horizontal for a while now. And I guess I just like horizontal better. I've just kind of gotten into a groove with it, but I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. And I could see myself using it more like this and just kind of maybe not holding myself to a standard of how it needs to be set up each week and just kind of doing what I feel. I think that might be a better way to approach it if I were to keep using this one because I like it so much better like this than when I was like forcing myself into another layout. See, like here's one where I like created like these little sections and everything had to go in its own section. And then you can see I like didn't use it. And anyway, so it's working better than I expected. So I'm happy with that. Um, we'll see how the rest of the month goes with the other planners, but I just kind of wanted to give my midweek thoughts on how this one is going. So for the second week, I used the Erin Condren Horizontal Life Planner. And again, this is the other one that I've been using for the beginning of the year, just going back and forth. I love that the life planners are on a coil. Coil is my preferred binding of all planners. And so I really loved that. And here is my week. There's not a whole lot on it because this is the week that I left on vacation. So the beginning of this week was kind of all just prep for leaving. And then here I was on a trip and I did not take my planner with me. I learned a long time ago, I actually never use a planner if I try to take it on vacation. It ends up just being weight that I'm carrying around. So I don't take my planners on vacation unless there's like some real specific need for something that's in it. But honestly, I can't think of any instance when that's actually happened. So this stayed at home and I did not touch it for the rest of the week here. I do love this one. 
this layout has just been working really well for me, which is probably why I keep going back to it. I never used to be a horizontal planner, like that was always hard for me, but ever since I just started doing where I divide this part, for whatever reason, that just makes all the difference and it works much better for me. So even though there's not a lot on here, this is something that I have done in past weeks and I just really love the feel of using this one and just, it just seems to flow smoothly for me and so I really like that about it. Plus, I am forever obsessed with the flora interior, the black coil, and my lavender vegan leather cover. I don't think I've ever liked the design of a planner more than I love this one. It's just like everything I love wrapped up into one planner. So anyway, so there's my life planner. The next one I use is also an Erin Condren life planner. This is the A5 Compact Vertical, and this is the week that I did in it. Again, because I've never used this one before, I tried to just freestyle it and didn't try to stick to any specific layout. You know, sometimes you'll see things that other people do and you're like, oh, I love how that looks. I want to duplicate that. Yeah, I was trying really hard to not do that because so many people have great ideas for this layout, especially since it's new. I feel like just everybody has been trying it out, trying to figure out what works. But I knew if I tried to do something like that, I would end up hating it. And so I kind of just did my own thing. I've been really loving color coding with highlighters. That's actually something I've loved for years. And then I'm always a fan of just doing a old fashioned to-do list. That's just how my brain works. So I did also really love how this one turned out. Again, it has the coil, so that's automatically a plus in my book too. And then the last one that I used is the Day Designer Planner, and this is the weekly version. This is an academic year planner, so this one just started in July. I've never used this one before, I've never used this layout, but I love this layout so much. First, it comes with a bookmark, which I'm super excited about because it's really hard to find bookmarks for the double O binding. So I was really excited about that. And so like I said, I really do love this layout. I love that this space is just lined and that this is a checklist. It's pretty similar to what I was doing in the Erin Condren just without the third box, but it's kind of the same basic style. I also love that it has note space up here and that it has a top three section up here. And if you notice, this one is actually the first week of August. I skipped the week in between. It was the week I got back from vacation and so honestly, I didn't plan anything. I was just trying to mentally and physically recover. So I skipped that week and I just started back up for the first week of August just to try this one out too. So again, I did the highlighting, which I love. I tried to highlight this and instead of just using a highlighter, I tried using a Tombow marker and it was really dark, much darker than I thought. So it actually kind of just looks like I tried to scribble it out. But anyway, lesson learned on that one. But I do really love this one. Now the issue that I always run into with this one and then also with the Moxie Life is the binding and a hardcover. For some reason, these are just harder for me to use. They're harder for me to want to use. I think they're just heavy, they're bulky. Something about just carrying this flexible one around just seems a lot easier to me. I feel like I can just toss it on my desk or something. This feels like it would break something and it's just super heavy to carry. So those are the issues I usually have with this type of binding. It makes me so sad because I love the interiors of these planners but just the binding and the covers just make me not want to use them as much. But with all that being said, okay, so here's all four planners the best I can fit them in the camera frame. I told you guys I would let you know which one I'm going to start with using for the next, I don't know, until I change my mind basically. And the answer is none of them. Um, <laughs> And that's simply because as I've been using the 7x9 daily planner, I've not really felt the need for a weekly planner. Now, I will in the future. I know that. I always go back to a weekly planner. Sometimes in my life, I just need to see the whole week on one page or two pages as weekly spreads usually are. But you can see that even in these ones, I didn't write very much. And that's basically because I've been relying on the daily more instead of relying on a weekly planner. With all of these, as much as I love them, I felt like I was forcing it trying to use any of them. And so I think the answer for right now is just to not use a weekly planner. 
if I feel the need to jump into it, then I definitely will. I mean, I have them here and I can pick whichever one feels right at the moment. Honestly, likely it would probably be the Moxie Life and the 7x9 Life Planner. They're the ones I've been using all year. I love them both. I love them for different reasons. I love the goal setting in here and I love the horizontal layout of the Life Planner. And these both go into next year. So this is an academic year. So it goes until June, 2023. And this is an 18 months. So this will go until December, 2023. So it's probably more likely that I will use one of these two if I were to use another one in the next few months. And then in December, um, I will reevaluate and chances are I might use one of these for my weekly planner for next year. We'll just see, have to see how it goes. Honestly, I love them all. They're all amazing quality and they have wonderful things about them, but you can't use four weekly planners. So for now, that's just how it stands. I'm going to try backing away and just not using any for a little bit. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite or which one you're using. If you have another company of planner that you're using, I'd love to hear about it. But thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.